Now let's see, these challenges actually get really difficult really fast. It's like one mistake in stages like this. Yeah, I'm pretty much screwed now. It's like they expect you to be pixel perfect, and I messed up. Yeah, there's no way. But yeah, you can also get um, an extra life by getting a hundred uh, tings. But <laughs> good. Oh my gosh. Good luck getting an, get, good luck getting that many. Yeah, because like, if you die, you lose them all, which sucks. Can I just get out of here? There's no way I'm gonna do this. Yeah, screw that. Ah, but yeah, nice calming music, all those flying piranhas, and that little animation, yeah. I wonder why they never used those enemies again. Like, a lot of those enemies we just saw are in Rayman Origins, but besides that, they aren't anywhere else to be found. Yeah. Actually, well, I, I can kind of understand it for to stop being a uh, to stop it from, stop games from being repetitive and also a lot of these enemies don't fit in with the uh, the um, atmosphere of two and three. Uh, maybe or maybe legends, but that was going for um, for a different kind of feel. Yay, jumping around. <laughs> but yeah. But speaking of Origins and Legends, I know I didn't... I know... Okay. This is getting, getting dangerous. Okay. Yeah, this, weir this is really weird, but... I forget how to deal with this. Oh! Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> Oops. You gotta hit the lips. You gotta make it go down so it gets knocked unconscious for a little bit. For like five, three seconds, if even that. No, screw that. Wait, I need that. <laughs> oh well. Goes up to the ceiling again. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, um, I know in the Legends LP I said I wouldn't do another... Uh, I wouldn't do Origins because, um, was it... I did the Back to Origins stuff in Legends, but I think it's been a long enough time um, since that LP and I... It's kind of old now, like... Uh, It was back when I was starting to get um, more um, experienced with Let's Plays. I don't know. Well, I've been doing this stuff for like six years maybe now. So, I, you'd, I'd hope that I'd be experienced after that many years. But, um, what is it? I just, I don't know. I, thi I think that I, in the future I could just do a uh, Rayman Origins LP. I don't know if I do a re replay of Legends, but I do think I can improve upon it, but I don't know. But I'm definitely thinking about doing Le uh, Origins. No, I'll, I'll look back in the, Le the Legends LP, see what I think about it now. If it's like really cringeworthy, uh, if I think it's really cr cringeworthy, then I'll probably just do a replay. In the future, like really far down and on, really far down the line, <coughs> I'm talk. <coughs> I'm uh, excuse me. <laughs> really far down the line, I'm talking, but you know, up uh, up in the air for now. But yeah, def definitely considering doing Origins. Don't have a a uh, tight like a. I haven't even put it down on the schedule yet because I'm not. 
100% sure, but it will probably be down uh, sometime soon, I don't know. <laughs> See, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. That's basically what I'm saying. But if you guys really want to see Origins and a Legends replay, then let me know. Because that, that will definitely help me decide more. Alright. This is where the game starts to be a little bit more strict with your timing. But it's not too bad so far. A lot of this stuff is going to be a lot more tight. Oh! Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention. Well, I meant, well, I didn't necessarily forget, but... Um, one thing, one mechanic I really love that they added in this game, and the other games for that matter, is the fact that you can jump straight when you land, when you hang off a ledge. So, it just keeps the pace going, like... Um, as you've seen Nitro Rad's rev reviews for the first three Rayman games, or Ray the Rayman original trilogy, I guess, for lack of a better word, um, you'll know how... Well, you'll know from his words, anyway, that the ledge jumping mechanics just feel so good. <laughs> like, it's it keeps the pace going, and you don't have to worry about, say, like in Mario 64, if you're going to do a small jump, or like a, you're gonna like, uh, do a quick, like, hop onto the uh, platform, or like, do a slow get-up animation, like, you don't have to worry about that, you can just jump and you'll keep going like normal, it's really, it keeps the pace going, and it's just, it just feels so good to do, even if it, even if it is unnatural, <laughs> but yeah. And again, this whole world is unnatural, so what is that? What's... what? That ain't anything new. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, a lot of the enemies you have to attack during a certain time. Come on. Alright, I want to get this one. Ah. No. No! The stuff you have to do for the electrons, like seriously. Some of these cages can be pretty clever. But one thing I don't like is that some of them appear while going to random locations. Like, for instance, you go to a platform near the start of the level, there's nothing there. And then you just keep moving on because you don't think there's anything that's gonna... You don't think there's anything of worth around there. What you don't know is that after going to that area, if you go back to the main, like, starting point, there'll be a cage there now. And I just think that kind of design is a little bit cheap. Like, I enjoy looking for things, but how the hell are you supposed to know some cryptic stuff like that? Like, it's not so bad because it does give you a little uh, sound effects notification but other than that you're gonna have to be on your own which is kind of stupid honestly but it's not too bad like it, it, could, it could be worse I don't I don't like that it's a thing but it's yeah it just could be worse I mean, there's not much else to add but yeah we didn't say we didn't um, befriend all the mosquitoes because this one you can only see the nose or the mouth or whatever right now, but it's chasing us. Yeah. And we're gonna have to fight another one soon. Yeah, I think we're close. These levels do get pretty lengthy, so. You know, one thing I do hope that whenever they make a Rayman 4 is that I would like levels to be the length as, like, I don't know, Rayman 1 length, but <coughs> with the platform, amount of uh, d 
diversity in platforming challenges and whatnot as Rayman 2, and the um, fast-paced nature of things of Rayman 3. Like, she just, I don't know, she just mixed those all together. I think you'd have a really solid Rayman game, and it'll last a decent amount of time. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill myself. There's, I wanna get, I wanna get full health back. Anyways, though, here's the real true uh, first boss, or the true first boss. Real true. That's kind of redundant. No, I'm, I'm failing already. But yeah. It's very quiet right now, but the music, um, Mosquito's Revenge or what, or something? I love this track. Like, the music in this game is just phenomenal. And Rayman's like, ah, oh, no! <laughs> and these guys, it's still, it's, this isn't so bad. He has a lot of health though, but these bosses get ridiculously hard. I didn't even expect him. Okay, what? You know, you know what? Just kill me. I want to get full health again. Oh, oh, oh. I'll, I'll give it an honest effort. But if I die, I'll just cut. But yeah, these guys, these bosses get absurdly difficult. And don't be surprised if I use the 99 lies cheat on some of these because. Not only does it give you 99 lives, but it also gives you that 5 hit point uh, health thing, which helps out tremendously. So, yeah, <laughs> don't be surprised if I use that, especially for a certain washing machine boss that can go screw off and die. Ugh. No, 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 no. Oh, that was way too close. Yeah, it's not too bad once you know what to do in this. In the other bosses, even when you know what to do, it can still be terrifying. Oh! The risks are real. Let's go. Okay. Jump. Die. Two more hits. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Nope. Oh, yes. One more. Come on. We can do this. Oh, no. no. Oh, I almost screwed that up. Yes. No. No. Oh, oh okay. He almost trolled me. Coolio. We don't actually ride this one, but... <laughs> maybe... Maybe he's learned his lesson. And the room is just like... Rrr. You say that, but the music for the second world is actually very calming, but... Gloomy in a different sense. Now you can grab things with your fist. Now that sounds kind of vague, because like you can just grab onto ledges already. But what she's talking about is these purple lum things. I don't know if they're actually called that in this game, but yeah, you can just punch them and you just glide, just or just swing around. And you can you're gonna have to use those very effectively to get to certain areas and it's kind of tricky but yeah i do like those huzzah okay now oh so uh, so another thing i love these little opening images But listen to this music though. I'll just stay quiet for a little bit so you can hear it.
okay. These guys can go screw off and die. Because, like, they're very quick and nimble as they need to be, and they can float through the air and climb up trees. No. <laughs> I can help it. No, th those guys just take so many hits, no matter how powerful your fists are upgraded to. And that's just so hard to dodge. Like, a lot of their attacks just come out so fast without you having, letting you, uh, giving you like barely any time to react and it's just kind of cheap. I don't, I have no real strategy, just keep bounce, just keep jumping and just do jump, jump attacks constantly. Um, other than that, just hope for the best, I guess. But yeah, just, ah, oh, that music though. <laughs> this is one, this is uh, where the game starts to get really difficult. But that music just makes it so worth it. Like, I don't know if this if it's this level um, specifically, but you see these uh, slippery platforms. Um, you're gonna have to do some stupid precise platforming with, with this, with those things, very soon, and it gets really obnoxious. All right, let me just fall down, please. But yeah, I, I don't really know how I, I, I don't really like the fact that um, secret areas open up randomly after going to a specific point in the map. Like, I, I don't know, I just feels kind of stupid. Ah, no! I'm still alive! Nope. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Come on. Alright, let's just rush through. Gonna go up there again. Don't want to fight that guy. Did we even get an electron? If we didn't, that was a complete waste of time going up there. A, a safety risk as well, because that guy was there. Alright, let's go up here. No, don't need that. I wish you didn't didn't lose all your all the things when you died because it's so hard to get a uh, hundred of these things before dying. It's just I don't know. I want a life. <laughs> nah. Screw that. Actually, no. Let's not risk jumping off. Okay. Anything? Yeah. There's probably something down there, but I'm not going to risk it. Okay. No. I remember this though, in this little area. Cause what you have to do? Actually, no. I'm thinking about a different. I'm thinking about something else. But uh, this guy again. No. Yeah. He didn't put up much of a fight there, but it's very random. Get away. Two of them is not fun. Also, one other thing. Uh, it's very... You won't notice it unless you, like, analyse the game or, like, play for a little while. But, like, you... The jump arc is very different depending on if you... If you're moving then jumping or just standing still then jumping. Because, like, look at this. I jump, then move. That's pretty... That's pretty far. But, like, if I'm... If I'm jumping while moving, it, mm, okay, here, here's a better way to describe it. So, I jump, I can, I can move both forward and backwards with the same amount of momentum. But if I'm moving, I do the same thing and going backwards is drastically slower. 
So you're going to have to be careful with that. Okay. Just some very elaborate platforming section. <laughs> Look like that spike ball just rolled its eyes. <laughs> Actually, no, they're, they're just like dark electoons, I guess. Ah! I messed up so badly there. Oh. I don't understand why Rayman turns into like five electoons, though. Like, what? Ah! No. I, get, I don't understand. Like, sometimes they die. They take like 50 hits, other times they die in like 2. I don't understand those guys. I really don't. I didn't even have any upgrades. That's what makes it even more confusing. Oh well. I'll take it. Alright. Yeah, it just rolled its eyes. It's kind of funny. It's not intentional because of the way I'm moving. Like, it's like programmed to look at me in a certain way depending on where I am. So it just makes it roll its size at that point. Which is kind of funny. Alright. Let's not screw this up. I wish I had my helicopter here. Well, I... I haven't... Nope. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You, you can't jump up there, so you have to, like, tap the bottom part of the platform. But, yeah. Is this thing? Okay, here's the thing I was thinking of earlier. Yeah, you just have to move this around like you do with the plums underwater, and just kind of guide this mushroom thing to the top. Well, have a little checkpoint, so you... You have a little bit of leeway. And I think there's an electing down there, but I'm not gonna bother. And this fang... This fang... This fang can get stuck on stuff, so be careful. I'm doing pretty well, I think. I've never done that in one go before. So I'm happy about that. Oh gosh! It's when they move like that is when it gets annoying. Yeah, the best thing to do is just spam the attack. And then they do this. There you go. There we go. Whew. No, I think it I think it's the level after this that has that really ridiculous platforming. Oh, well, it's only, I only have one less uh, hit point. 